Hello viewers, this is Dikshit Kumar. Now let us solve this problem using ANSYS. So given is a simply supported beam. So uniformly load it is acting on the beam. So you can note down the cross section area angst modulus and Poisson's ratio. So the uniform distributed load it is 10 kN per meter. So the length of beam is 2 meter. Now let us see the theoretical solution here. So you can note down the solution. Can note on the solution for reaction and shear force calculation and bending moment calculation. So you can note on the maximum bending moment calculation. So can note down the shear force and bending moment here. Shear force and bending moment diagram is as shown. At the last the results are to be tabulated using this tabular column theoretical analysis shear force and bending moment. So let us begin go to preferences select structural click on OK go to preprocessor element type add click on add select beam 2d node 188 click on ok close go to material properties material model select structural linear elastic isotropic set the inks modulus here 200 into 10 to the power of 3 newton per mm square and poisons ratio as 0 0.3 click on ok close go to sections select beam common section you have to enter the breadth of the beam it is 200 mm and height of the beam as 300 mm click on ok now go to modeling create key points in active CS click on apply the first key point will be created for the second key point set the distance as 2000 mm click on ok key point as created click on lines again lines straight line select 1 and 2 click on OK. Now go to meshing, size control, manual size, global, size, element edge length as 10 and number of division 100. Click on OK. Now select mesh, lines, Pickall, go to plot, select lines, now go to solution, define load, apply structural displacement on key points, select key point number 1, apply, select UX, UI, used ROTX and ROTY, you have to select these many points here, you have to be constrained, click on OK. Again click on key points, now select key point number 2, click on apply, you have to select only UI, the O you have to be constrained is UI, click on OK. Now go to pressure on beams, here you have to select the box option. And you have to drag and select the entire beam. The pressure is applied, that is UDL, it is applied. So apply, you have to enter the value here. So load key, you have to make it as 2 and pressure value at node I. It is 10. It is 10 Newton per mm. Click on OK, close.
now go to solve select current ls click on ok solution is done close close now go to general post processor element table define table click on add result data item by sequence num select s m i s c make it as 3 click on apply again by sequence num now make it as 6 again click on apply now by sequence num make it as 16 click on apply by sequence num make it as 19 click on ok you can see 3 6 16 and 19 click on close now go to plot results count to plot line element results at node i select 6 at node j select 19 click on ok so this will display the shear force diagram you can note down the maximum and minimum values click on line element result now select 3 and 16 click on ok so this will display the bending moment diagram you can note down the maximum and minimum bending moment here so that's it the solution is done so at the last you have to tabulate this result thank you for watching